I'm Ivan Zoot with Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I.net on the web. The world knows me as Clipper Guy, and I know you love Jatai Academy for great educational content, videos, and information. Thanks for tuning in today. Today, I want to talk to you about the realities of your career. I want to tell you that you are a gallon of milk. You are a block of cheese. You are a chicken breast on a foam tray plastic wrapped in the meat department at the grocery store. You have an expiration date. I know you don't want to hear that and I'm not being morbid, but what I'm telling you is your career has an end and that end may be sooner than you think and you may not know what it's going to be. But what you do need to know is with a conscious awareness of the fact that you just can't do this forever, you need to be proactive about either extending your career as long as you possibly can or making the most of your career during the short and limited time that you have. So what I want to offer you today are my top five tips for recognizing that as a professional beauty and barber, hair cutter, or practitioner in our industry, you have an expiration date and let's make the most of the time you've got. Number one on the list is you got to take care of you. This is the portion where we talk about diet. We talk about exercise. We talk about blocking out a lunch, not only for the nutrition, but for the mental break that a lunch represents during your day in the shop. We talk about treating your work like a workout when it comes to things like hydration, when it comes to things like athletic shoes and good footwear choices. You can't take care of them if you don't take care of you. So a long-term healthy career making the most of the time you have starts with you taking care of you. Next on the list, you've got to change the way you move. You've got to change the way you use yourself, your biomechanical parts, your physical body. What are we talking about here? We're talking about mixing up the cutting. Clipper, scissor, razor different cutting tools in different circumstances that will change up the way you use your hands and your wrists. There's a big difference between doing this all day with a scissors and flicking your wrist all day with a clipper and mixing up the tools you use and the way they impact your body. We're talking about pumping up the chair. Be good to your back, be good to your legs. We're talking about turning the chair, putting the miles on the client, not putting the miles on the hair cutter. So in the context of the work that you do, think about how you move. And for beauty industry professionals that do things like hair color, hair color professionals tend to stand in one place for an extended period of time and you get blood pooling in the legs, you get problems without moving enough and without circulation. You can have all kinds of long-term health problems associated with the way you move in the shop. Number three on the list is cut less hair. Now, I'm not telling you to make less money or do more work, but I'm telling you, if you're only good for 243,971 haircuts or whatever a career number is for you based on how you care for yourself and how you move, if you're only good for a certain number of haircuts, every one of those haircuts better bring in more money. Because if you've got a finite number of haircuts that you can do, if you do them all at $10, you will make less money than if you do them all at 20. And you will make less money than if you do them all at 40. So the reality is cut less hair now to extend a career or cut all the hair you want to cut, but cut it for a lot more money. Because if you've got a cap, you want to get everything you can get in below the cap. Number four on the list, recognizing and being aware of our expiration date is saving and planning for retirement. Retirement is sooner than you think. I'm closer to the end of my career than I am to the beginning. Someone watching this video might be closer to the beginning of their career than they are to the end. But I will tell you this, if you're able to watch this video, that means you're able to operate a cell phone or you're able to have access to the internet. That tells me you're old enough to begin to save for retirement. It can be small when you're younger, because life is expensive and there's money that's gonna be needed for a lot of things, but it's never too soon to begin putting away little money and then putting away bigger money as you can to plan for the future. The more money you put away and the compounding effects of investment and interest will mean you will have more money to enjoy the latter portion of your life after your hair cutter expiration date when you are retired, when you wanna fish, when you want to do other things, when you want to enjoy your grandchildren, 
going to take money to do that when you can no longer cut hair. The sooner you begin to save for the rest of your life, the sooner you will have all that money for the rest of your life. And number five on the list of recognizing that you have an expiration date as a beauty industry professional is you got to have fun. You're going to be doing this. You could be doing this for a very long time. And I always say life is very, very long. And if you're not having fun, it's even longer. And life, life goes by in a hurry. And if you're having a great time, it's a hell of a ride. So my suggestion to you is figure out how to have fun doing this because for the time that you can do it before your haircut or expiration date, you want to really enjoy this because it's the greatest business in the world. I'm Ivan Zood. I'm Clipper Guy. Find me at clipperguy.com and continue coming right back here to Jatai Academy at jatai.net on the web for all the finest education the beauty industry has to offer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.